I'm like really sad <laughs> right now. Uh, it looked like a foundation, but it has this very poor consistency. Or I have a breakdown and I'm crying. It leaves my face really itchy and red. It looks so weird. The weirdest thing I ever apply on my life. Hi guys, welcome on my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to leave the likes so then more people can see it and also subscribe my channel and click the notification bell so you can see all my videos and the community can grow, which what makes me really happy. And today we will test the Inky SPF 30 Daily Sunscreen. And this is actually the first product that I bought from this brand, so I'm really, really excited to try it. And the first thing first, let's talk about the Inky brand. So as I mentioned, I never actually purchased anything from this brand. And this brand, for what I know, is relatively new, or maybe it is not that new, but it is quite new within the social media um, space. And it's supposed to be a brand really similar to the ordinary brand because their products has no flavor, they are dermatology tested, they are good for the planet, and also they are extremely affordable and have no smell. So it is everything we love, right? And I decided to try this SPF 30 because my current SPF is the best SPF on the planet and I mentioned it so many times and it is the one from Sugar Group, although it costs 30 pounds and 30 pounds for a sunscreen that will last for a month or two is a little bit too much and that is why I was so excited to order the one from Inky because it is only 14 99 and it has 50 milliliters, which is quite a lot. And before we move on to a testing part, I would like to talk about what actually is the mineral sunscreen. So the mineral sunscreen is different than the regular one because it push the UV out of your face rather than kind of changing it so that your face can absorb it. And I am a big fan of a mineral sunscreen because they are so much better for acne prone skin and also they don't cause me any irritation, especially around my eyes area. Usually when I use a sunscreen and then I'm going to swim or I have a breakdown and I'm crying, it leaves my face really itchy and red. And this particular sunscreen contains 22% of non nano zinc oxidite, which is 100% mineral formula which is ideal for all the skin types and especially for the acne prone skin. So without too much talking, let's move on to testing and then I'll come back and tell you my honest opinion. So this is how the packaging looks like. Very normal, <laughs> I don't know, nothing to talk about. And then inside we have the sunscreen and the packaging is actually kind of cute because it's matte. I like matte products. And here is 50 milliliters, which I feel like it's a perfect size for a sunscreen because you can travel with it, but it's still relatively big. So if you purchase this for $14.99, I think you should be able to use it for at least two months, which is amazing. Okay, so let's move on to an application process. So I'll open this little baby. Here we have the protection. So we need to open that one as well. And as I mentioned before, this product has a little bit of tint and uh, it looked like a foundation but it has this very poor consistency if that makes sense um it has no smell so that's good and this is definitely not enough so i need to put a little bit more and this should be this should be okay and let's move on to an application i'm a little bit i'm not sure about it guys okay Okay, so I feel like okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not really sure about this at the moment. It looks so weird. The weirdest thing I ever apply on my life. It has a very thick consistency, so you feel like putting some sort of oil on your face, which is not like amazing comparing to the sugar group one. But obviously this was half price, so maybe I. Apply apply a little bit too much but on the other hand they're saying that you need to apply at least a tablespoon so I don't feel like I even use that amount and um okay so actually you know what it's not bad I'm not gonna lie I will just apply the rest of it on my hands just to not waste the product but it's not it's not bad 
the first impression was so bad and I'm not gonna lie I was like terrified about this product but um, right now when the product absorbs I actually I actually like it I actually like how my face looks like it's still nothing comparing to sugar girl but I don't mind it I feel like my skin needs a powder so that's definitely something that I'm not a fan of because usually on my everyday basis I like to run around without makeup and you know having this in mind that my skin is super oily and it's shining it's not definitely it's not the best feeling it is definitely not my favorite but it's okay I actually don't mind it I will put a makeup on right now and then I will come back and I will let you know how I feel about it okay Guys, I'm trying to apply the foundation and I'm using this, um, the ordinary foundation and I never ever in my life had such an issue with applying a foundation. It looks so bad. Look at this area, like everything seems to be so gray and dull and just, oh, it's just so bad and it's so sticky and oh, I don't know, I would, I would try. I will try to pull this makeup on, but like I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely so sad. So from far, you might feel like my face looks all right, but when you look closer, it's so bad. And I am so genuinely sad to even say it because I was so hyped for this sunscreen and I was so excited that this is so much cheaper and I was so excited that I finally found a good and affordable sunscreen, but this sunscreen is so bad. It leaves my face so extremely sticky, even though I put so much powder on top and it still has this weird sticky consistency. And the makeup looks so bad. Like genuinely, I never felt like applying makeup would be such a challenge. And after using this sunscreen, it was so ridiculously difficult. And I'm not saying that all the other products from this brand are bad because I still believe that this is a really good brand. I just feel like particularly this sunscreen is not the best. Okay guys, so I'm wearing this makeup and foundation for a few hours now and I don't know if you can see it, but my makeup looks so bad that um, I'm planning to go out and I genuinely need to take all of this off because it looks so ridiculously bad. I don't feel like camera can catch this, but it's just it's just horrible. And to be honest, I don't expect too much from my makeup, but this is another level, like it is so bad. And on the website, they're saying that because of its chalky form, they add a little bit of tint, although this tint is so much different than my actual face color. It's so gray and, uh, you know, when I, um, and when I was um, when I was applying makeup, I felt like my skin is so much more gray and just it's just it's just not the best sunscreen. Okay, I, I I I don't like it. So I will maybe either give it to someone who has more sensitive and dry skin, and maybe this will work better for them. Although for me, it doesn't it doesn't really work. I don't really like it. Like, look at this color. It's so weird and green and very like stony is it even a word like that stony you know it has the color of a stone okay so yeah I i'm not a fan of it um it might be good for some people it's not the best for me i would rather spend 30 pounds for a sunscreen that i genuinely love rather than with this one because it is it, it, it is not good and i don't really know what kind of makeup you will have to use to actually cover to actually cover all the stickiness and oiliness um, of this sunscreen. So, <sighs> I, will, I will. So, as much as I love the politics of the brand, that it is good for the environment, for the reef, and you know, it doesn't contain any harmful um, ingredients, I, I don't like it, okay? I just, I, I, I just don't. So if you ever use the sunscreen and you like it or maybe you don't like it, please let me know so we can share the opinion because um, this is only my own and personal opinion about this product. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And also, if there are any other products you would like me to review, I will be happy to do so. So also leave a comment down below and check out my Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I can't. My face looks so bad. So sticky. I'm like really sad right now.